Welcome to the Jimmy Lloyd Songwriter Showcase. I'm your host, Jimmy Lloyd. We're here in the Gibson Guitar Showroom in New York City. This show is a forum where we discuss the art, the craft, and some of the motivations for songwriters and their creations. Genus loci, the spirit of a place. Whether that place haunts us or enlightens us, the song exists as much in a place as it exists in our imagination and in our consciousness. The song transports us from one psychological landscape to another. We arrive at this other place in the form of our collective awareness. The song is a destination, as much as a vehicle to deliver us to that destination. A songwriter acts as the pilot, navigator, and scribe of all that is seen in that place. The song is our teacher, our guide, our bedfellow, our sometimes guru for the human condition. It grants us insight into our own circumstantial lives and those of others. It sometimes takes us to this other place, a place we know like the back of our hand, even though we haven't been there in years. It is at one time new and intimately familiar, like the first time you turn a phrase to describe the indescribable. Woke up one morning now Set up by a dream It's like teaching the Renaissance It's only 17 Working so hard Low side of town One evening I was robbed By a villain named Jesse Graham how do you think that I feel? How do you think I feel? How do you think that I feel when I've been prolonged? Very next day, the authorities walked right in. Said someone transpired here Set up a tanker for the money that I've ever But you want justice right here Thoughts of retribution race through my mind Many evil words How do you think that I feel how do you think I feel? How do you think that I feel when I've been wrong? Panos, we just listened to a wonderful performance, a song, Jesse Brown, clearly a ballad, clearly heartfelt, thoughtful lyrics. What's the story with this song? Uh, the story is about this um, guy working at a convenience store that he owns, and uh, he gets held up by this villain. His mm -hmm. name's Jesse Brown. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's quite upset because he's worked hard all day, he's had these er his earnings taken away from him, so he's pretty upset and he wants re retribution. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly common story, but the way that he goes about not taking retribution, I think that, that exhibits a, a good deal of, of restraint. And, and there's a strong spiritual sense that I, that I sense in your performance and, and in the other lyrics of the song. Um, is spirituality important to you in your songwriting? Absolutely. It's, um, it's probably the primary thing in, my, in my, most of my songs, except for this song, ironically. Why is that? 
because it was fictional. This is a fictional it's song. It's a fictional song. This song didn't happen. It didn't happen. Okay, the interview's over. <laughs> now, clearly, um, clearly, your your style of singing there, there's a deep sensitivity. I think that the the listener does not have a problem honing in on. Um, when you sit down to write songs, is, is it a struggle for you? Do you set aside time to write songs? Uh, I think songwriting is 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 different for everybody. Sometimes I'll I'll sit there, I'll pick up the guitar, just doodle on it, and a melody will come. Mm -hmm. uh, lyrics may follow. I'll write them down. Other times it may take me three months to complete a song. Mm -hmm. You no. keep a scrap of paper with you, Absol like when ideas come. Absolutely. What about Absolutely. like uh, poetry or, or or journal keeping? Have you kept a journal? I keep a journal daily as well. Daily. Uh, daily. Like yes. at the end of your day, you write down. I, I, I try to, you know, all my experiences, whatever I experience, I try to jot them down. Is that a habit you started when you were young? No, I just did as I got older. Yeah, yeah. probably have some interesting uh, observations uh, being here in New York, huh? Absolutely. I can write a book about it. <laughs> Maybe you will. Do your lyrics end up, uh, do your, does your journal entries um, uh, translate, do they translate into uh, lyrics? Uh, that's a good question. I think the journal is more about personal experiences. Personal experiences. Personal experiences. So you filter these experiences and then you channel them into your music. That's right. Do you have formal musical training or are you self-taught? I've studied voice uh, five, six years on mm -hmm. and off. Um, guitar and other instruments I was self-taught and through other musicians and books. Mm -hmm. uh, and also my mother runs in our family. My mother was a professional oh. uh, singer. So you grew up around it. Yes. I think our viewers might find it uh, interesting to know exactly how you came to appear on this program. Do you want to uh, <laughs> enlighten them? Absolutely, Jimmy. Um, I was um, I do street performing on the side as well and other musical things. And I was um, performing on the subway platform on Seventy uh, Second Street, Central mm -hmm. Park West. And I was playing that song. Uh, it was Jesse Brown. I was playing it, and I saw you guys come back and you're. Yeah. Hey, my name's Jimmy, and yeah. I have a show, and I'd love for you to be on it. Well, the train yeah. didn't come, and, and the longer I heard that song, um, I definitely got this honesty that, that came through, and I think that's what drew me in at first. Uh, to find out now that the song is actually fictional, it breaks my heart a little bit, but nevertheless, I, I definitely sense something in that. It uh, seems like a, you, have a, you have a gentle soul, and, I, and that comes through in your songs. Thank you. Yes. This, um, uh, this theme of you know not taking... Uh, uh, vengeance or revenge um, when people do things to you um, how is that a part of how is that a part of your personality uh, it's just part of my faith mm -hmm. I guess it's um, I have, I have spiritual beliefs and uh, mm -hmm. it's, it comes out it comes out through my through the music mm -hmm. and I, I just don't think it's the right way to you know mm -hmm. to, to be in life anyways try to walk in love when we can but we're human though mm. I Some can, of us. We're, we're human, and we can lose it. I've lost it many yeah. times, too. You know, yeah. so. Have you always been writing songs? Uh, I, I've been doing music more seriously the last, the last 15 years of my life. I've been doing it for 22 years. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing it quite a long time. And besides, uh, besides street performing, what other type of uh, performances do you do? Uh, I do um, church ministry work that I've done for uh, Vineyard Ministries, certain other ones here in mm -hmm. New York City, New Jersey, mm -hmm. uh, Nashville. I've been mm -hmm. out there, did some out there. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I've done nonprofit, a mm -hmm. lot of nonprofit gigs uh, for Orphans International, uh, with the Jazz Foundation mm -hmm. of America as well, uh, just for giving for good causes. Right. Yeah. Performing on the street or on the subway platform, you must come across some really interesting characters, I would think. Absolutely. Absolutely. What are some examples of some uh, people? Uh, positive or negative? Well, give us the positive. Okay, the positive. Um, Positive is, you know, a lot of people come up to you and they go, you know, thank you, I really, I really needed that. That really made my day. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And, you know, they're very grateful. Yeah. They might buy the CD or just, you know, give a donation. And say, yeah. You know, they're very thankful. Yeah, there's a lot of performers out um, there. And um, they definitely, you know, a lot of it is just background music. But I could actually have a chance, because the train didn't come, to actually focus in on your words. And the more I listened, I thought, this guy's, this guy's different. He's pretty much ex exactly what we look for. I mean, so... Glad we met you. Glad you, uh, you had the time to come in and play for us, and we thoroughly enjoyed your performance. Thank you, Jim. We wish you the best of luck. Nice, man. Thank you very much. Thank you.